I'm going to heal. They've they've made me nervous enough that I'm going to heal. I was gonna wait until I took one more hit, but yeah, they're <laughs> the heartbeat too. I'm about to head into a big fight. Excuse me, spiders. Is there anything else in this room? No? Okay, cool. Climb down the ladder. I'm gonna equip the shotgun. More herbs. Cool. Hello there. Aw, you've grown! How cute. I don't want to get in the water with you. Just gonna throw that out there. I don't think that's a good idea for me. I don't think I'm even, like, hitting it. I'm gonna have to get in the water with it, aren't I? This is bad. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. If I get in the water, he just electrifies me. Am I just supposed to tank the damage and grab the shield? No, that, that doesn't feel right. But I, they let me grab it, so... I guess I'm leaving. Let me see if I can use my chemicals on it. I got the halberd. Okay. I tried shooting it from outside of the water. Didn't seem to be working. I tried shooting it while inside the water. Also didn't seem to be working. Release me, swine. Am I poisoned? No. Okay, cool. I mean, I have a blue herb just in case, so that's fine. Okay. Could have gone worse, I suppose. We are heading... I'm going to try going the second floor route to get to my save point, to get to the safe room that's near the halberd. Because the lift is up, and if I take the lift down, then I'll have that as an option for future travel if I need to. 
I feel like I'm almost done with this area. Excuse me. Very stupid that you can't call the lift from the bottom. I don't understand why they made that decision. Okay, do I only have one ink ribbon left? I'm gonna use it. We are about to have no ink ribbons left. This wouldn't be a problem if for, I had been smart with Claire and had stored her like 10 plus ink ribbons in the box when I had the chance. I didn't. I'm really upset that I don't have access to Claire's inventory. That's frustrating to me. Nice of there to be a, a jet right here for me to use. Zoom. Frozen land. Four more, cheat five more. Put an end to the Queen's reign. Get the rocket launcher, get the linear launcher from battle game. Receive encouragement from a young lady and say farewell to your fallen comrade. So we're in Antarctica now. I must look for Claire. Caution, emergency evacuation elevator. Okay. Hopefully, now that we're here, Wesker's little monsters aren't... What the hell is that? you whatever the hell that was plane cannot be used anymore uh oh what's up Jan with the raid how you doing Jan how are things with you oh, there's another fucking tentacle here can this thing die god I'm using all my ammo just to get rid of these tentacles. How are things going with you, man?
I wonder if that cage that I was trying to get access to before, if I can do it now. Hello. Oh, everything is flooded and frozen. So that's why it is cut. That's why it's full of ice. We're both playing Resident Evil, are we? Which one were you playing? This one's Code Veronica. Which I think is the next one chronologically for me to play. Pretty sure it is. I played 1, 2, and 3, and then I think Code Veronica. I don't know where 0 actually falls in the, in the order. It's interesting that these zombies are on top of this ice, which means they had to have come here after. I will take the valve. Thank you. Got the valve. Uh oh. This might actually have been a good spot to use my shotgun for a moment. How are you still alive? Okay, are they all dead? They're all dead. The music's fading. That means it's that means the danger is past every time. Playing Resident Evil Village, the DLC came out, and it was awesome. You don't know the order either. I'll look it up later. I think that this one is the next one in the order. I still don't. I do need to figure out where Zero falls, though. And then I th I'm trying to think if there's another one before I can play Resident Evil 4, because I know 4 is regarded as one of the best ones in the entire franchise, but I've never had a chance to play through 4. Okay, there's nothing here. RE4 is goaded. It's getting a remake. I have to play it before the remake. I mean, they've been working their way through making the remakes. I feel like like the Resident Evil 2 remake was big, and then I feel like they just rushed the Resident Evil 3 remake out so that they could then go on and remake 4. Because <laughs> nobody, ta nobody talked about the, the Resident Evil 3 remake. Oh, nice. The cage is open, as a matter of fact. How's my health? Not looking great. You want to die, please? I think I hear another zombie. And I can't open that case. There's something else here. I will take that. How much? I only got eight left on my SMGs. Kind of sad. Let's use these last five shots up. I could open it if I had a lockpick. Too bad I don't. Metal processing device is broken. So I only came in here for shotgun shells and this Dura Lumen case that I can't that I can't open. Hey, I see my my bot has decided to chime in and throw a, the poll on there. If you'd like to throw a vote on there, I would appreciate it because I think I'm getting kind of close to the end of this one, and the winner of the polls is supposed to take the take the place of this one in my schedule. 
so this was the like the lod the lodgings. This is where the, the bunks are. That looks like grenade launcher rounds. Because it is grenade launcher rounds. I haven't I haven't been able to save in a while. I would like to do so. Not that I have any ink ribbons I can even use to save. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I was expecting Resident Evil to take me a bit longer. I feel like if I don't finish it today, I'm only going to have like not even an hour for my next stream, so I'll have to have the next game queued up to, to take its place. Are the moths still here? I'm just going to run through that room and assume that they are. I'm glad that you enjoyed the... Uh... I'm glad you enjoyed the DLC, though. Oh, this is where I use the halberd. Ink ribbons? Ah, oh, thank you for the ink ribbons. The paperweight. Alfred's Diary. You had a good stream? I'm glad. January 30th. There's a sealed room in the hallway located inside of the Antarctic facility. I don't know what is hidden there, but I do know how to get in. I can use the three jewels that each one of our three family members wear as proof of being a legitimate descendant of the Ashroom family. The only problem is, I do not know how I can gain possession of my father's proof. February 17th. I finally succeeded in entering that sealed room. I never could have imagined that such an insane secret existed regarding the birth of both Alexia and myself. I hate my father, that fool Alexander. Now it is obvious that we were merely created in an attempt to cover my father's blunder. I can never trust him again. I must regain the glory of the Ashford family with my sister. I have nothing to be afraid of as long as Alexia is with me. March 3rd. Alexia carried out the experiment on the human body that we've been talking about. Our useless father must be happy now, since he can finally contribute to the Ashford family. The only thing we should be careful about is that the butler, Harmon, does not become wise to our activities. April 22nd. The experiment resulted in failure. Our father was useless after all. Even worse, he turned into a dangerous monster that is completely out of control. We tied him down and locked him up in an underground prison cell. However, Alexia seems to be close to a solution. Beyond all my expectations, she now says that she wishes to conduct the experiment on her own body. On top of that, she feels she must be kept asleep for 15 years in order to accomplish the experiment. Thanks to that idiot, I can't see my dear Alexia for as long as 15 years. Alexia is going to sleep, with all of her trust relying on me. Now I am the only one who can protect Alexia. The DLC was better and almost longer than the main game. Yeesh. How long did it take you then? There is something else here. Ink ribbons. Heck yes. I needed those very badly. We're gonna save right now, immediately. I had more ink ribbons when I was playing as Claire, and then I ran off with them, and then they, made, they switched me over to Chris where everything that was in the item box stayed, but everything that Claire was holding didn't. And so I could not... Uh, friggin' stupid. I lost all of my ink ribbons because of it. Okay, we have, we have two more, though. I have a paperweight and a valve. So that means the dude that we fought that was in this cell down here, that was... Alfred and Alexia's father, that they just, like, did an experiment on and then chained him up down there. Nice. Three and a half hours. Alexander's memo. That's not, that's not that long, but it's decent. That's a good, it's a good stream. That's a good stre stream length. My father, Edward, discovered the mother virus in cooperation with Lord Spencer, who was also a nobleman. They studied it for the purpose of military use. Eventually, their study took shape. They named a variation of the mother virus the T-Virus. To camouflage their research, they established Umbrella Chemical Incorporated. 
I majored in biogenetic biogenetics and have been involved with a top secret project supporting my father's research. However, my research went through a difficult phase and my father died in the middle of the project. We are now at a major disadvantage against other researchers as there is great competition in the field of T-virus research. I have disgraced the honorable name of the Asher family that our great ancestor Veronica established. If nothing is done, Umbrella will be taken over by Spencer. I must expedite the project to its fullest without being detected by Spencer. After much thought, I decided to establish a large-scale advanced research facility. It will be located in the transport terminal that I created by using the abandoned mine in the Antarctic. Within the facility, I'll have a room built. It will be similar to the design of my mansion, the legacy of the late Trevor. I'll be able to cherish my sweet memories there. For security purposes, the, this confidential project will be given a code name. It is the name of the beautiful ancestor of the Ashford family, Veronica, whom I wish to revive so badly. I'm confident that the result of my research will be as glorious as her name, and that honor will be restored to the Ashford family once again. How'd that work out for you, Alexander? Only it worked out too well. Five hours is the main game if you're fast. I feel like I would try and take my time with it. I haven't gotten to that one yet. I played one, two, three, and five. And I'm almost done with. Nice. Uh, I just accidentally unequipped my SMGs. Let me know when I'm at the seventh game. <laughs> yeah, the seventh game is pretty spooky. For I think I watched Markiplier play through it when it first came out. I am now on the verge of death, so we're going to go heal real quick. Oh, I played six, too. <laughs> How could I have forgotten about six? It's such a, a vital game in the in the Resident Evil franchise. Senor Binks has invited you to play Minecraft. 